Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude Chris from YouTube and welcome back to the Plucky Squire. We're getting back into the flow of things. After all the games that came out in October, you know, I've started playing them. So now it's going to be a bit of a cycle between, you know, all these games that I've started and, and hopefully we'll finish. Um, the Plucky Squire, we are back up in it. In the last chapter, we uh, exterminated some bugs. We went through the swamp. We met Violet's mom. This is her right here. Her name is Rola. Uncle Umber will appreciate your help. Yeah, so I believe we have to go to Violet's house now. <laughs> the Plucky Squire. How nice to see you here. You know, many people come here to see my smile. I try not to get too self-conscious about it. All right, Mona Lisa. So yeah, at the moment, I'm just gonna go around and, uh, you know, talk to some NPCs. If they say anything interesting, then, you know. But for the time being, I'm probably just gonna... Ooh. Okay, this would have been a perfect place to put some art. Or, like, some art scrolls. Like I said, definitely not a dog. <laughs> I'm not a cat either, in case you were wondering. Sure, buddy. Keep telling yourself that. I'm just a copy of the genuine article. Or is it the other way around? It doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. Art scroll! Would have made more sense for it to be in the art museum, but okay. That's fine. And a new piece of art. Castle Town. Some early concept of it. This will eventually become Artia. This juice is delicious. Oh, wait. I've already given that voice to the bookworm. Ah, the bookworm can have two voices. It, you know, played by the same character. <laughs> played by the same actor. Would probably make a quite, would probably make quite a nice pigment too. I'm a very early riser. I don't like to miss that beautiful early morning light. Fruit is the key to health and happiness. I'm entranced by the mystery of this pyramid. I've been standing here looking at it for three days straight. Bro has no job. Bro has no life. Hello there! I did not mean to talk to you. I wasn't done exploring Artia. Uncle Umber! My rub boinks! Little, my little round piggies. What the fuck are you saying to me? What did you just call me? They started behaving strangely a day ago. Rolling around like squishy, squishy pink bowling balls. They busted clean out of the bond, the farm. Will you find my ruboinks and return them to me? There are six of them. Uncle, finding piggies is our specialty. Well, we've never done that before, actually, but I'm sure we'll be good at it. No. No, this is not my job. Liza. <laughs> this season, I'm going for vivid colors. We've got Lisa and Liza. The plucky squire. What an honor. What an, an honor. I'm sorry if I'm fumbling. I just don't often run into celebrities. Me either, buddy. Have you seen our paint fountain? Sometimes when no one's looking, I like to jump in for a wallow. What? That doesn't sound legal. Somebody get him off the streets. Do you like my flowers? They fill my heart with joy. Only one flower can find can know the spirit of another flower. I like to paint these flowers. I paint them so they will not die. You sure that's how that works? Hello! I'm working on a self-portrait. If you think about it, I'm really the one on I'm really the only one qualified to draw a self-portrait of myself. No, I guess, yeah. No, maybe. Hmm. Sorry, Plucky Squire. The queen is not quite ready to see you yet. Please take a look around the town while you wait. I've seen you in book in picture books. You're Jot, the Plucky Squire, aren't you? I'm pretty plucky myself. My mom says I'm a sh uh, I'm a mischief maker, but I don't see it that way. I'm going to tell my mom I ran into Jot, the Plucky Squire. Hope she believes me. If she doesn't, you can take me directly to your house and I'll swing my sword at her or something. I like to paint the people of Artia. The paint people I paint people as I think them, not as I see them. I don't have red, I use blue. If I don't have red, I use blue. Actually, I really like blue. We meet again! Care to take a look at my current selection? Uh Art Scroll. I don't even know why I'm collecting them at this point. I'm definitely missing some. This is what Violet was gonna look like? Ah! at one point Violet was a rabbit. 
Oops. I think that um, if they had gone with Violet being a rabbit, it probably would have fit the scheme a bit better because like Jot is human, I think he would be considered human. Thrash is a troll. So for Violet to have been a rabbit, it probably would have fit the, the trio. We're all different species, but it just seems like Thrash is the odd one out unless that's part of the story. But it seems like Thrash is the odd one out because Violet is also human. I just love painting butterflies. You think they're really made of, <laughs> made out of butter? I'll let you believe whatever it is you want your little heart to believe. There's a guy up in the top corner that, oh. Oh, this is one of the piggies. Oh, I got you. I actually ran into a couple of them before. How do I, okay. Five Robloinks remaining. Welcome back, little piggy. Cool. Everything looks better covered in dots. I'm trying to cover RT in dots, but the groundskeeper won't let me. I wonder why. I can really re recommend living. I can really recommend living inside a pumpkin. If you're hungry, you can just nibble on the furniture. Maybe don't. RT is my favorite city in all the mojo. I'm very visual. I'm a very visual worm, though. Have you ever considered covering yourself in dots? Nope, I have not, and I don't think I will. I will do water. Beautiful blue water. And lily pads. I quite like those too. My wish is to stay always like this, living quietly in a corner of nature. Oh my god, guys, that's me! Guys, look, that's me! I'm not here. I was possibly here before, but now I am definitely not. Although, I may be here again shortly. Whatever the fuck that means. What am I reading? The Adventures of the Plucky Squire, of course. The hottest books in all the land. I wish I could meet that plucky squire one day. Uh, hello. I live a pretty serene life. That's probably why I enjoy reading about exciting adventures so much. Hello. Oh my god. It's stuck in the ground, but the way it is. Damn, I was wondering if I could get it to look like I was actually puncturing her. That's funny. Each morning when I awake, I experience again a supreme pleasure. That of being me. The only difference between me and a madman is I am not mad. Not that mad. The difference between false memories and true ones is the same as for jewels. It is always the false ones that look most real, the most brilliant. The one thing in the world that will never have enough of the... The one thing the world will never have enough of is the outrageous. The thermometer of success is merely the jealousy of the malcontents. I seated ugliness on my knee and almost immediately grew tired of it. Those who do not want to Im imitate anything produce nothing. The secret of how much dialogue do you have? There's got to be an achievement for going through this guy's dialogue. Oh, that was it. I'm not strange. I'm just not normal. Damn. There had to have been, there should have been some achievement. What am I drawing? A glistening form with glossy lips, a skill, a skull, a rib cage. It is a birthday card for my friend. I always try to remember my friend's birthdays. I want them to feel appreciated. Come here, little piggy. Oh, that's a big one. Now that's a heavy fellow. Hey, it's tiny, the sweetest rib boink, but he does spend rub boink but he does spend a lot of time sleeping he should be in his mud bath back at umber's farm let's carry him over there um i'm flattered that you think i've got the upper body strength but we're not carrying this tiny dude an inch rash is right if you try carrying tiny you'll sprain well everything no this is a plucky job jot i think there's an item out there on the desk that can help you why don't you jump out and go find it Moonbeard out! Huh? Huh? An item that can that could shift this piggy that'd be some that'd be something. Why do I read so fucking fast? I also have to burp. <laughs> Sounds like we'll need to find one of those swirly green portals. I've already seen. Where's what? Why does this dude have a sensor over his face? He's so ugly that the town had to censor him. And then they all died. The end. Shh! You haven't seen me. I like to make my art when no one's looking. I hide in the trees until I spot my moment. 
I spend most of my time hiding in trees. Okay, that's a little concerning. Whoa! What a scary looking sculpture! Ah! Really quite unnerving. Gah! It hasn't got any less scary. Gah! Okay. So my guess is that I cannot leave Artia. What I was going to try to do was I was going to try to leave Artia, go to a different page, and then um, turn the page from there. Since I can't seem to get off the border. Wait, why is this dog glowing? Hey, look at that. Green sparkles under that doggy. Looks like he sat right on top of a, a patch of magic. Come on, fella. Why don't you budge over? You're sitting on something kind of important. I am not a dog. Uh, doesn't look like he's budging. How are we going to get him to move? Maybe if we find his owner, he'll have an idea. Oh yeah, I know his owner. Mr. Magri, smart chap in a matching bowler hat. Smart chap in a matching bowler hat. We definitely talked to somebody like that. Matching bowler hat? Nope, you're Mo. Hey, Mr. Magri. Oh, bonjour, young Violet. You know, it's nice to see you in the town, but... I'm just gonna stop that. You've grown a little taller. Or maybe the world has grown a little or shorter. It's hard to say which. How can I help you? It's your dog. He's sitting on something quite important. Do you have any, I, any uh, advice on how to shift him? An interesting question. My mind, unfortunately, is a blank. I need some inspiration to spark some thoughts. And I need an object to seed my inspiration. I need... I need... A tailor. Because I ripped my pants! An apple. Um, okay. We'll get you an apple. Where are we going to get an apple? Uh, somewhere fruity, I suppose. Where the fuck do I get an apple? Well, look who we have here. Oh, hello, Penny. Hello, Clipso. Long time no see. Splat. <laughs> they are not fans. Hey, Mr. Barry. Hi there, Violet. What can I do for you? Funny you should ask. The thing is, we're looking for an apple. Well, well, you've come to the right place. I have a fresh green apple right here. Pretty shiny, huh? That's a good apple, that is. I know my apples. I'm surrounded by fruit. You can have this one free of charge. Woo! Woo! Brilliant. Thank you, Mr. Berry. Oh, hello again, Splat. Nice hat, Splat. Still trying to... Trying the whole magic thing, Splat. At least you haven't turned yourself into a frog yet, Splat. I'm not so sure. Oh, wait. That was Violet that said that. I'm not so sure. Take a closer look at her face. Oh, wait. That was... Never mind. I need to pay attention to who's reading. Hey! What's all? What's with all this majorly mean vibes? <laughs> See you around, Splat. Totally uncool. What is up with those two? Ugh. They've always been like that. They were a real joy in school. That's where they gave me my nickname. You see, I really wanted to get a good get good at painting painterly magic, but there were a few accidents. I flooded the whole classroom with multicolored paint. People couldn't hear properly for weeks, paint in the ears. That's when I became known as Splat. They never let it go. I mean, we all make mistakes, you know. No need to keep ragging on someone for their catastrophes. Uh, mishaps. Thanks, Thrash. Anyway, that was a long time ago. It doesn't bother me anymore. Not a big deal. Nope. Come on, let's go see Mr. Magri. It clearly bothers you. Also, you guys are like 12. 
What do you mean a long time ago? It was probably last week. Here you go, Mr. Magri, a fresh green apple. Oh, ma I can feel the inspiration and I can respond to the question that you posed to me before. Yes, the answer, it is sparking in my mind. The way to move friend my dog is remind him that it is time for his nap. He'll walk on over to take a nap next to me. Oh, that's it. Well, okay, we'll give it a, we'll give that a go. Thank you, Mr. Magri. So we just have to remind the dog who doesn't think that he's a dog that it's time for his doggy nap. Hey there, Ren Doggy. Um, your owner, Mr. Magri, wanted us to remind you it's time for your nap. So it is. I shall sleep my my lakes by the lakeside. If the dream is a translation of waking life, then waking life is a translation of the dream. Au revoir. Mr. Peabody head ass dog. Phew. Phew. There we have it, dudes. The shiny sparkly portal. Mm -hmm. Oh my good lord. What the shit? All right, well, firstly, let's go get these pigs. Oh, wow. I love that. The pig has no idea how to how to react. Two Rubunks remaining. One Rubunk remaining. That's nearly all of them. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I got going on three. Uh, damn. I got to go on a 3D adventure. That's what I meant to say. Don't mind the first thing that was said. Now, how on earth am I supposed to get up there to get that? I'll come back for it. I'm not going to forget about you. Unless. Unless. All right, I've got an idea. Rubik's Cube. Paint. Paint. Fuck! Uh oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Um, help! Help! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Oh, fuck. No. No. Don't do this to me. Somebody help! I'm stuck! Yeah! Rubik's Cube. Paint. Paint. Block. Uh... Oh. Jump down. Yeah, I'll have enough for another upgrade in no time. But first, my art scroll. Yeah! yeah! Some early concepting of game environments. All these environment concepts were drawn by Dave Hankin. That looks pretty cool. But with that being said, that early concept probably is not even in the game anymore. Which I hope that there is like a little lava section. That would be kind of fun. Oh my god, guys, they have Bojack Horseman in the game? That's wild. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that window view. All the enemies quiver before me. All the enemies quiver before me. Quiver! Quiver in fear! Ah, oh, that! Hell yeah. This game looks so beautiful. Oh! 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 Imagine taking a nap and then somebody just comes and rocks your shit, like, heavily. Alright, let's go unlock this door. This is a hotel? Apartment? What the hell is happening here? 
This reminds me of the rat house, um, that... Oh, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Um... From Flushed Away. I cannot think of his name to save my life. Oh, key! Yes, yeah, Erski. Afternoon. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be a while like climbing up this uh this whole thing, but it's really not that bad. <laughs> Hell yeah. Surprise! He never saw it coming. So far. There we go. I need to get all of the light bulbs that I possibly can. I got upgrades to buy. Surprise! Never. Oh! To surprise me! When the surpriser gets surprised. Surprise! Damn. Imagine you and your girl are just chilling in on the couch, taking a nap, and somebody comes and rocks your shit. <laughs> oh! Imagine if I just jumped off and had to do all that all over again. That would be crazy, right guys? Ooh. My body actually took a screenshot when I did that because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to save myself. Just got the tilt gauntlets. With these mysterious gloves, he has or Jot. Why did I say just? Jot got the tilt gauntlets. With these mysterious gloves, he has the power to move the world itself. Use Z and X when manipulating the book. Another of Bluebeard's magical items. I believe you will find the tilt gauntlets most beneficial. And rather fun if you enjoy tilting things. Return to your book and give them a whirl. I'll magic up a portal to help you on your way. I like tilting your mom. Oh! Anybody who does not find my your mom jokes funny, um, please exit this way. Either way works. Hey, Jot! Time to try out those powered up gauntlets of yours. Walk up to the book and press Q. You should be able to angle things on in a whole new way. Moonbeard out. Um, let's take a look. Let's take these gauntlets for a spin. You should be able to tilt the book itself with Z and X. Whoa! Everybody, look out! The God damn! Look at that! Tiny is back where he belongs! Head back into the book to check in with the gang! That seems dangerous. Like, genuinely concerning. What if- what if this kid right here- What if little homie right here was walking by when the- Am I the only one that's concerned for this people's well-being? Jot, dude! Welcome back! The tiny problem got fixed while you were gone! We spied him rolling right back into his mud bath. Sorry you had to trek around outside for nothing. Oh, it was not for nothing. Little do you know, I am a god. I am your god. Tiny is back in his mud bath! Happy as a pig in mud. Okay. One rubble. What? I thought I was done. I thought I had them all. Ah, okay. You little piggy bastard! Made me look stupid. Woohoo! All my piggies are back safe and sound! Violet! Violet's unusual looking friends! Thank you! <laughs> unusual looking? Hold on now. Think nothing of it, Uncle. As a token of my appreciation, please take this! Is an art scroll? <gasps> I was just joking! Was that a side quest or a main quest? Why- why'd you give me that? 
Got a new piece of artwork. What is this? Enemy ideas. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So, am I too far to collect these? Because I got this one. Like I got these two before I got this one. Maybe I am too far because I should have completed that main quest before going to. I don't know. Now I can go back to farming eraser dust from my lovely Rubboix. Hello, gang. Good job on getting those piggies back. I've just arrived at the castle gates. Head on over. <gasps> Moonbeard. Come on, guys. Don't you know how to roll? Castle gates. Not the city entrance. Hang on there. Looks like you've got Umber's Rubboix back safe and sound. Well done, you three. Now, I know you're in the middle of some important mission or other. Just remember not to overdo things. Um, we'll be okay. Nothing Jot can't handle. You've read his books. Well, even the plucky squire may need support from time to time. The important thing is that you kids look out for each other. Okay. You got it, Mrs. Lightbrush. Triple Trouble takes care of each other. Triple Trouble? We'll be fine, Mom. Gotta go. We're meeting the Queen. Oh, well, then... Give Her Majesty my regards. Will do. Love you. Aww. Moonbeard! Young adventurers, good to see you all together. Hey there. Glad you're all in good shape. Better comb your hair and straighten your pocket squares. We're about to meet royalty. Greetings, esteemed visitors. Queen Chroma will gladly see you now. I tried to read her voice in the, um, the Blue Diamond's Pearl from Steven Universe. Oh, FYI, Chroma knows all about the bookish realities of our land. Don't worry about blowing her mind, she knows the score. Let's go see her. I, I cut trees, I have trees to slice. The queen is in the castle balcony. I will lead you there. You're not leading me anywhere. Okay, cool. New area to search around for items. Glitch bird. Sorry, you're not allowed past this point. Rules of the castle. But the glitch bird, the glitch bird. The glitch bird! Ah! The queen has ordered us to increase our drills. There's a bit of bad business afoot. I'm increasing my spinach intake from one can a day to 30. Holy shit. That is quite the increase. You don't need that much spinach. Fucking Popeye head ass. This entrance is closed. You may admire the fabric of this curtain, however. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to go through. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Some early concepting of game environments, this was eventually become Artia Castle. That's not too far off from what it looks like now, right? <gasps> Glitch bird! Yeah! Yeah! You found a third lost Glitch bird! You're really good at finding Glitch birds! Yeah, I am! That was legitness! Yeah, it was! Whoa! What a banging view! Look, that gnarly mountain over there. That's Trag Mountain, dudes. My humble homeland. Do we get to go there eventually? Oh, here we go. Moonbeard, how lovely to see you again. Violet, Thrash, Pip, I'm so happy you came. You're not gonna say anything about me? And Jot. Oh. As always, this land is indebted to your bravery and heroism. Thank you for all that you have done. Moonbeard, what can you tell me of this latest kerfuffle? Hey, watch your language. There's kid the children around. It's that mischievous humgrump again, isn't it? Indeed it is, your highness, with some new greasy tricks. 
He has a new kind of meta magic that can allow passage in and out of our book. Humgrump may use this magic to gain power over our land. He could change the story of our book for the worse. If the story gets worse, our book could be put away on the shelf. If that happens, the life force of this land would be utterly diminished. The story of our lives would be frozen forever in a most miserable way. We cannot allow this to happen. Indeed, we can't. Moonbeard, old friend, what can be done? Old friend, how old are you? You don't look a day over 35. Sorry. Uh, Jot and Thrash, they'll be they'll go locate Humgrump and attempt to stop any trouble he's brewing. Violet and I will begin work on our magic to con to counter Humgrum's meta magic. M me help you? Yes, Violet, my girl. What you don't think you're capable? Uh, what? You don't think you're capable? Your talent is essential. Violet, Thrash, you must have more faith in your own abilities. We are all going to have to step up if we wish to stop Humgrump. Wait, what's this? Something's going on at Trag. Trag. Thrash looked on in shock. What was happening in his homeland? <gasps> da da da! Chapter 6 Very Metal. Hell yeah. Our heroes reflected upon this rather explosive development and decided that Jot and Thrash should investigate at once. Man's standing on business. Trarg Mountain. After a bracing trek across the wilds of Mojo, Jot and Thrash arrived Trog Mountain. Trog Mountain! Yeah! Alright. They proceeded to scale its slopes. Ascending to the top to get to the bottom of all this bottom. Ta, I see what you did there. After a good climb, they arrived at a lofty plateau. Back at a normal elevation. Feels good, dude. Let's press on to my village. It's still a ways away up these slopes. All right, well, that is it for the Plucky Squire. We've completed chapter five and are now on chapter six with three more chapters. Four more chapters left to go. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. Subscribe if you're new. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers and you don't want to miss out when we reach the goal. Memberships are active. Hit that join button. There is a link in the description. Super thanks are active as well. Show your support if you want, if you can. If you want to see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here. And if you want to see the last video of the Plucky Squire, that'll also be linked somewhere around here. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go paint myself uh, self-portrait because I'm the only one who's qualified to do so. <laughs>